hello everyone welcome back to my channel Porgy tech okay so as you can see in the title i have the iphone 12 pro max which is in pacific blue and this is gonna be my two month review on this phone as far as giving you how i like it things i like and some things that i don't like about the phone and if it's worth upgrading to this phone all right so stay tuned for that before i get into this video please head on down below hit the subscribe button turn that notification bell on to get notified as soon as i have another upload on this channel okay so we're gonna dig right into this video right away so as i said before this is the iphone 12 pro max pacific blue and uh, this is a 256 gigabytes i pre-ordered this phone got it on the first day of launch which is was on November 13th. So pre-ordered this, picked it up. And before I got this phone, I had the iPhone 11 Pro Max, which I still have that phone, which is the phone that I'm using to record this video as I speak. So coming from the 11 Pro Max, everyone knows that it's not a big, huge upgrade. And for some people, it's not worth the upgrade, but I'm gonna give you the reason why I upgraded um the main reason why i upgraded to this phone is in my area here there's a lot of dead spots and i know the modem inside the iphone 11 pro max was the intel modem and the reception was really bad especially in my area here you got a lot of dead spots where i never used to have my calls going through my texts even youtube i might be streaming music on youtube in my car and it keeps buffering so when I saw the um, review, saw that when they were announcing this phone, and I saw that they had a new modem, which is a Qualcomm modem inside this phone, then I knew it would solve a lot of that problem as far as the reception and the um, call quality and everything on this phone. Okay, so that was one of the main reasons why I upgraded, and the design is nice. The um, squared off edges and everything is nice. The color as well. I had, the, I had the Midnight Green 11 Pro Max and this one in the Pacific Blue is really nice. So the Midnight Green was introduced in 2019, which was a new color. So I grabbed that one and this one is a new color as well. So I went ahead, went ahead and got this new color here. So as far as the cameras, these are quite bigger than the ones on the 11 Pro Max as well, which as far as camera quality at nighttime, you see a huge difference as far as the camera quality, the pictures and the videos you get from this. I would definitely say it's a big upgrade over the 11 Pro Max. I've seen reviews where people are saying the 11 Pro Max and the 12 Pro Max is not, a, there's no difference between them, but I've used them and you can definitely see a difference. Okay, so that's a part of it that's one as well the camera as far as the way it looks with the flat display with the sides here oh man the flat side with the display the, i mean the display on the 11 pro max was flat but with the curved edges you can see a difference between this and the 11 pro max with the flat edges it looks way better with the screen flush is nice on the side it's really nice so the display on this actually a little bit bigger for some people, I've, I watched a few reviews before I received the phone and they're saying it's massive, it's huge, which is not a big difference between this and 11 Pro Max anyways. You, it's pretty much almost the same height. It's just the screen size that's different, guys. So don't be deterred from that if you want to go ahead and get this phone. It's not a, that big of a deal as far as the size. All right. And also, this is 5G. Yes, it has 5G, but that's not the reason, the main reason why I upgraded in the first place, which I said before. It doesn't matter to me if it has 5G or not, because it's just the reception that I wanted, better reception. And this solves it with the new Qualcomm modem that they have inside this phone. So if I go in my settings here, go to cellular, cellular here, you can see that I, I didn't even enable 5G. I have it on LTE still. I still have the LTE on it works pretty fast streaming is pretty fast as well if i'm on the road so that's not a huge deal if i have 5g on or not i pretty much turn it off just to save a little battery and also in the settings here you can turn on the auto so 
you need to save battery there if you're having a 5G auto because it's only going to connect to 5G if it needs to. Okay, but I leave the LTE on so I save battery, but I don't need the 5G speed. The 4G LTE in this area is good. It's just the modem that was in the 11 Pro Max was the Intel modem, which was not performance wise. It wasn't as good as far as your quality, your reception, data wise and everything. So even on this phone, my wife still has the 11 Pro. And sometimes we are on the road. If you want to check something online, check if somewhere is open, check their hours. I pretty much have to use my phone most times because, as I said, in the area, it was had a lot of dead spots. And this phone works flawlessly. Her phone is pretty much the same as the 11 Pro. So 11 Pro Max, they have the same modem. So she's still not going to have connections in some areas. So this pretty much solves those connection problems. All right. So... As, as I said, mentioned before, the cameras, the quality on these cameras are really nice. Point and shoot, point and point and shoot is pretty good as well. You can just take your phone out, turn your camera on. You turn your camera on, you snap a picture. Instantaneously, you have a picture. Nice quality picture in your phone. No autofocus is pretty quick. As you can see, boom. Picture is taken and it's nice and crisp. Look at that. As you can see the quality there. Nice picture. And as far as, um, as I said, the reception, it's been way better. Solve my problems as far as getting my calls and text and connecting to the internet and watch my stream, my YouTube music in the car. Performer performance wise, it's way better. And another thing is the RAM. This has six gigabytes of RAM. Sometimes I open a lot of apps on my phone. I don't close them. And sometimes I reopen some of my apps. They use the refresh. This one, they keep, they're open and they're right where I left off. As far as even the game, sometimes I open games, play a little bit, stop, go back, and it's right where I left off. And as far as the battery life on this, I would say the 11 Pro Max was like an hour better, but that's not a huge difference for me. I still get all day, but like this lasts me like two days. So you can't ask for more than that from a smartphone nowadays, especially on the iPhone that the battery life on the iPhones weren't known for the best, but this, the battery life is pretty good. Two days can't be that, all right? I've seen a lot of battery tests where this is still whooping other phones. So as far as battery, it's not an issue. Display, oh man, this is a beautiful display. Looks really nice. Some people complain about the um, the color as far as having a yellow tint on their phone. I'm not sure because I don't really have that issue on this phone. This, it looks really nice when I go, if I go on a white page it's like safari or something as you can see here i don't really have no yellow tint on here it's pretty white and nice some people they have pretty much return it get it exchanged and it solves their problems but i don't have that issue with this phone some people complain about the notch on the phone for me it's not a big deal if it has a notch or not because it doesn't bother me if i'm watching a youtube video because it has the black lines so if i go to youtube and I start watching a video, click on a video, it goes right here. You have the black lines. I pretty much don't stretch the screen. So it's pretty much doesn't get in the way when I'm watching a video or something. So that's not an issue for me. And as far as the bezels here, they're a little bit thinner than the one on the 11 Pro Max as well, which looks really nice and uniform on the phone. All right. And these flat stainless steel edges looks really beautiful blue color really nice so for me it's not much that i have to say about this phone as far as the differences between this and 11 pro max because this is not really a comparison i'm just giving you like how i feel about it after two months and for me it's worth the, the upgrade depending on the reason why you upgrade it if you upgrade it just for the look then if you're pleased with that then that's fine for me, I upgraded because of the reception on the phone and the network as far as with my calls and everything. This pretty much solves the problem. 
So that's the main reason for me to upgrade. If you upgraded for a different reason and you were looking for a night and day difference and you didn't get that, then probably upgraded for the wrong reason. But for me, the reason why I upgraded was for the reception and this solves my problem. So depending on your issue and the reason why you want to upgrade, some people upgrade because of the camera, they see the specs and they're thinking it's going to be a big night and day difference between everything on the phone then you would be disappointed because it's not but as far as the reception that solves the problem all right so for me that's my two month review on this phone giving you if it the um, answer if it's worth it or not for me it's worth it in my case so your case might be different but if you're up to someone like me who had problems with receptions i would definitely recommend you go ahead and upgrade to the iPhone 12 Pro or 12 Pro Max or even the regular iPhone 12 or 12 mini because they have the same modems inside. All right. So thank you for watching. Please head on down below. Hit the subscribe button. Turn that notification bell on to get notified as soon as we have another upload on this channel. All right. Peace.